Hi guys, uh, looking at another interesting uh, focus case today. Um, I hope you will enjoy looking at the images. So the case was a 67 year old uh, female who presented um, with a cold leg and was booked for urgent embolectomies to the vascular OR as well as fasciotomies. So I want you to think about the following things as you're reviewing your images. Look at your mitral valve opening. When you look at mitral valve opening, remember two things that it can imply either mitral stenosis or in patients with decreased cardiac output, it can be very reflective of that low flow state. I want you to look at all of the chamber sizes. Uh, think about volume status because you're going to take this patient to the OR. You want to know if this patient is underfilled, overfilled, or normal volumic. And think about RV function. So as we know, when you're inducing a patient, um, RV function is important. Um, and also, if you're thinking about doing an embolectomy fasciotomies with reperfusion, that reperfusion um, shock uh, on top of prior RV dysfunction, you should really be thinking of um, instituting some RV support earlier on in the case. So let's look at the images and see what you think. So here's our first loop. So first of all, we have to decide which view this is. Um, I think we can all agree this is a parasternal long axis. Um, we have our, let's just think which chamber this is before I say. Yes, this is left atrium, which makes this which valve? Mitral valve going into your left ventricle, the left outflow tract. Here's our aortic valve going into the ascending aorta and this is the right ventricle. Uh, so I want you to have a look at this. Um, usually when we uh, look at comparative sizes, the LA and aorta in this view should be about the same size. So this LA looks enlarged to me. And then we're looking at this mitral valve opening. Now the mitral actually looks bright, uh, which might imply some degree of mitral dysfunction, but this mitral valve for sure is not opening properly. Um, and so we have to wonder if there is some degree of uh, uh, low flow state going on here. So for you and POCUS, you can't really distinguish between those two very easily other than just looking visually at the valve to see if it's a normal valve or not. In more advanced echo, we would put a gradient through the valve to see if there was a decrease in flow, um, which is a uh, delay in pressure equalization, which would imply mitral stenosis. Uh, so for sure we can see left atrium, possibly low flow state here. And we don't see a lot of the ventricle here. This part seems to be moving okay. This part is thickening, but maybe not as much. And then RV sort of disappears in and out. So I think mostly what I'm getting out of here is a large left atrium. So we're going to our next view now. So here we have a parsternal short axis in the mid papillary view, nice round heart. Um, this heart seems to be going a little fast, maybe a bit tachycardic. This right ventricle here uh, seems a little on the larger side. And it seems thickening in all the areas here. But I would say that this ventricle just, just eyeballing it, looks like it's not contracting. That well, so I'd say some degree of hypokinesis and maybe a little bit of dilatation. For sure, this ventricle is not underfilled. Uh, so this is not a heart that requires a lot of volume. Uh, here's the money shot. So here we can get a really good sense of what's going on with this heart. Uh, unfortunately, it does not bode well. So we have, I'm going to let you look at which chambers these are first before I say. Let's think about these different chambers and different sizes. So left atrium with mitral valve, right atrium with tricuspid valve, nice perpendicular interventricular septum. And you know, look at your right ventricle here, look at your shape and size and how well that base is moving. 
So let's look at the atria first. So these atria are as big or bigger than the ventricles, which would be severe by atrial enlargement. Uh, what do we think about this mitral valve? This mitral valve is not uh, opening very well. And here, I mean, it's a bit bright, but it certainly doesn't look thickened or what you would expect from a patient with mitral stenosis. And based on what I see of the rest of the heart, I would suggest that this probably implies a low flow state. Again, I see thickening in all the areas. This is a bit foreshortened. Um, so not 100% sure about this LV size, uh, but it looks like everything is thickening. And then we're looking at this RV. Look at how the space is moving. Uh, so everything is moving, but I would say decreased in function. And very large by atrial enlargement. Um, next view is our subcostal views. This, I'm thinking, is probably a pacemaker wire. Um, nice. Yeah, it's, it's very bright. I, th I think that's a wire of some sort, um, and I think it's just um, anatomically, it certainly wouldn't be in the left ventricle, so I think it's just some kind of artifact in terms of how it's presented anatomically. Uh, what can we tell from this view? So we're supported again in our opinion that this is very enlarged by atrial enlargement. And the RV is really not contracting with all if you look at that base. Um, LV, mild, globally hyperkinetic. And here's our IVC view. So again, we're going to look at the total diameter and also the amount of collapse. And what does that tell us? Um, so I've said in a prior video, in a patient with a normal heart spontaneously breathing, the diameter of the IVC um, and the amount of collapse can tell us a lot about the volume status of the patient. Um, this would probably tell us a lot about the fact that there is RV pathology and that that RV is not contracting well. But it is a sign that you can use in your patient. If you can't see the RV and your LV is under fold, we're always worried that there might be some kind of embolic event going on. So if you see an IVC like this in a patient with a very, very small hyperdynamic LV, you really have to be concerned that there's some RV dysfunction. That's the reason for the LV not filling. and be a bit more cautious with giving volume. So what did we think? Uh, mitral valve opening was decreased. Chamber sizes, uh, for sure the RV was enlarged. The um, spur was moderately enlarged. The LA and RV, uh, RA was severely enlarged. Uh, volume status. Certainly not on the empty side, so restrict volume and RV function was decreased, um, both uh, in terms of uh, RV base as, RV, as well as RV free wall. So lots of information here that you can build your anesthetic on, um, and I hope you thought the pictures fun to watch. Um, hope to get you some more videos soon. Thank you.